So we had the ID Tech X show, and who are you? Yeah, my name is David, and we are here at the Sensitel booth. So Sensitel is a project partner of Cassini Consulting and uh, Ergo Insurance. And uh, Sensitel has a platform which is called Sense. It's an artificial intelligence and Internet of Things platform uh, to customize for different business challenges. So you customize uh, what, IoT? Exactly. So um, uh, we customize um, application for IoT scenarios. So we have existing customers. My, yeah. We have existing yeah. customers for um, the logistic, uh, for the logistic field, in insurance business, and also in automotive. A lot of automotive suppliers. But um, uh, we uh, create always new applications with our customers um, because uh, they have a need of um, uh, solving problems with new artificial intelligence capabilities. So uh, you do applications for, for what? So for, we are a software as a service company. So uh, for instance, we have uh, different um, success stories I can show you. So our newest customer is Ergo Insurance, a big insurance company in Germany. And we uh, were uh, building and developing together uh, the pay how you drive application for them. So um, for pay how you drive, you um, basically measure the driver behavior of um, the customers and um, uh, once you uh, identified uh, where is a good driver or a bad driver, therefore we um, customize an artificial intelligence. Um, you can basically give your customer on a daily basis um, discounts. So that's very interesting for the insurance business. Does every customer want to have that or only the good drivers want to have that? Because the so bad drivers, they lose The bad out, drivers no? lose nothing. Ah, lose so nothing. you just can um, get, for instance, like gift cards from Amazon or any kind of gratification. So it's kind of interesting also for uh, new drivers because in general new drivers, like young drivers, they have to pay more than um, uh, a more experienced driver. So uh, they are very uh, interested on this kind of business model. But the bad driver loses nothing, even their experience. Sometimes exactly. experienced driver is bad. Exactly. Um, one another feature we added to this solution was to give, um, um, to give suggestions how to improve driving. So it's also interesting for a smart city how um, uh, drivers can be better. And um, it's also a topic to have more driver safe environments. And uh, uh, do you have other demos? Exactly. So uh, one big customer is an automotive supplier, which delivers um, every day thousands of parts to the biggest and, uh, or better to say, the largest electric vehicle manufacturer in California. And um, they have a lot of problems. The parts not um, arriving in time, they have to pay penalty costs. And we integrated our um, sense platform and a lot of sensors at the warehouses and at the trucks so we're also connecting uh, um, electric vehicle and autonomous trucks and um, the outcome was that um, by our artificial intelligence the um, arrival time will be predicted and also um, the, the uh, supplier saved millions of dollars in penalty costs because now um, the manufacturer knows when the parts are arriving and they can also adapt the production based on our artificial intelligence. Adapt the production. Exactly, because they know this part, for instance, needs two minutes longer than expected, so they can um, uh, decrease a bit the production time and there's no shutdown, because shutdown mm. means a lot of penalty costs for our suppliers and customers. So uh, you are basically working with the electric car fact manufacturer. Exactly, and the supplier. The whole and supplier. the supplier. Exactly. Uh, and that's to optimize the whole, that's a big deal, right? If you exactly. make it work. Yeah. Would, are you the only one who can do this or? Say it again. Uh, is there other companies doing this or you like? Uh... So we were specialized in that. Um, there are some logistic companies doing the IoT and hardware IoT um, implementation. But um, we do the implementation of the sensors, but also customizing the artificial intelligence. And I would say that's kind of a unique um, value proposition in the market that we uh, have this already in place. And uh, right up there is the same story or what? So this is kind of um, uh, another story for smart city. So the, um, the, the use case is here that uh, the artificial intelligence um, predicts basically when the, um, uh, when the electric car will be uh, charged and how, how is the likelihood that the space will be free for your electric car to, to go to that place and the app will basically guide you to the next available charging station point for your electric vehicle in the smart city. Uh, all this sounds like stuff that would be interesting for a company like Tesla. 
Exactly. But so, you're not saying who the customer is, or so um, the um, supplier is Adient. So it's one of the biggest um, uh, automotive suppliers, and this customer um, we Secret. cannot tell, Secret. but it's the largest. But you have electric a German accent. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm from Germany. But so we maybe I'm joking. No, no, it's not okay. a German company. <laughs> so it's the largest electric vehicle um, uh, producer in California. So you probably know who is it. Mm. And um, so the company is based in uh, Santa Clara, but is now also here in uh, Germany. And uh, yeah, we work with. Ergo do you do Insur anything with their spaceships? No, with the spaceships? No, 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 with any spaceships? Uh, any spaceship? No, not, not yet. Not no? yet. No, so I'm checking at 6 p.m. They're gonna launch the Falcon Heavy, a uh, different company. Uh, and uh, what's the top uh, use case you have that, with their robot? Oh, exactly. So we're working with one um, logistic company together. Um, uh, they have uh, robots in the warehouse which are picking up goods from the arriving trucks. So here we have basically a combination, combination of this use case and the robot use case. So um, what we're doing here is um, we know when the truck will arrive because the truck is already connected. We know where the robot is in the warehouse. And now the software basically says uh, when the robot has to be at which truck. And on top of that, how much battery is left to fulfill the task. And all this basically combination and um, basically uh, um, process optimization is uh, done by the artificial intelligence of Sense. I just saw yesterday the most coolest uh, Boston Dynamics robot that can take a whole bunch of boxes and move them around. It looks so cool. Is there a lot of robots in, in uh, these kinds of places already? No, so it's kind of uh, new. Is the next thing. So it's, it's basically the logistic companies um, catching up with new robot um, implementations. And that's exactly where they can use Sense to basically coordinate um, the robots and the arriving trucks and in the future also the autonomous trucks, uh, which has to basically build all together in an overall AI supply chain. So uh, there's a famous guy uh, on Twitter. Uh, he was uh, having issues with sleep. He was not able to sleep. There was a lot of issues with the uh, a, a, a car called the Model 3. And uh, it sounds like what you're doing is really helping uh, not just EV, any manufacturing or just Ex EV? Exactly. So um, how Sense works is basically we have, have, existing, we have existing products. Um, which are already in place, I showed you already. And, um, but uh, how we can speed up, how we can bring innovation in new companies. So um, Sense has um, pre-existing templates where companies can um, basically in, uh, invent new applications uh, starting in six weeks um, to test new prototypes. So that's kind of the interesting thing. Six weeks? Exactly. Test what? To, 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 for instance, if you have um, a supply chain issue, we can use our pre-existing template with your data and um, bring up a prototype in six weeks. So, um, and, uh, and hi, so who are you? Hey, I'm David's colleague. And I'm what are you doing? So we are looking for new partners here at the ID Tech So Exchange. you're doing like business development? Or? Exactly. And uh, so uh, who's the partner you want to have? What's the goal? I mean, there is no perfect partner, obviously. What we're trying to do is to, to show our different use cases we already have so far, to show them, okay, our product is working. As David already told you, we have pre-existing templates. That means we already looked, we're already one step ahead to see, okay, what kind of solutions or what kind of problems are there actually? So we can go to customers and say, okay, look in future, we have 5G. That will help us to monitor a lot of things really, really fast. If you think about connected cars, for example, if you think about autonomous vehicles, there's lots of signals working together. And so you have template. How much work does it take to customize a template to a specific uh, it requirements? Already, of course, it depends always on a specific use case. So far, we could arrange everything within six weeks. Sometimes it may take longer. Of course, it always depends how big the process is itself. So do you do any kind of sensor kind of stuff or is it just an app? What, do you, so, so what, we, what this, part this are you doing? This uh, Sense IoT platform has different application included and um, so we partner with hardware companies for sure. So we don't, we don't, have, we don't um, create we don't. any kind of hardware. Um, we are a software as a service company. So there's some good hardware out there doing yeah. good sensing? Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what, is, what, what part do you do? Like, is it like RFID scanning from far away and stuff like that? or? So, so there are different kind of sensors we're using. We're using um, temperature, GPRS, 
um, vibration, um, flow, speed, um, smartphones for sure. Uh, we're using 5G. So we focus on the data. Exactly. So, so. What we want to do is we want to collect all the data which is there, which we can actually get. We want to gather the data specific to, uh, specifically to the use case of the customer. And then we want to make all this data, we want to make use of the data. Uh, do you have a, what's it called? I mean, if people integrate this, basically your business model, you tell them they're going to save money. So it doesn't exactly. matter how much it costs, right? And time to innovate. Time to innovate? Exactly. Uh, so first of all, they will, they will save resources because we're doing it. We're experts on this field. We, wanna, we have data experts, we have AI experts, of course. So we can focus on that, as we've already shown there in the use cases. And then, of course, in the end, we, we want to show them, okay, if you use our product, you're going to save money. So money can be, for example, because they, they can be faster, they can increase their service level, or they can save penalty costs, as we just showed you in the EV example. Where, where are you based? So our headquarters, is, um, the Sensitel headquarters is based in Santa Clara in Silicon Valley, but now it's accelerating to Germany. So um, Is that why you have a German accent? Uh, exactly, exa yeah. exactly, so um, uh, Sensital is now in Munich and Hamburg. And uh, uh, are you the leader in doing this? or? Um, so um, doing the combination of AI and IoT as a um, whole integration, um, I would say we have a unique select point in this case. Um, there are other platforms, they're focusing more on integration with Oracle or SAP. They're kind of competitors, but um, in the customization field, uh, I would say uh, Sensitel has a very um, cutting edge. How many different use cases is possible? Like a lot? Uh, basically, it's unlimited, but the focus is automotive, manufacturing, smart insurance, cities. smart cities, and autonomous driving, kind of this field. So um, uh, it's basically, yeah, you can do it um, uh, for a lot of different customers, but um, the connected vehicle is always be part of it in general. Could you work with like cities and governments or something like that, or yeah. you just so, work with companies? So, so Sensitel was doing already um, a lot of pilots with smart cities in San Jose, in California, but also in Singapore with some partners. Um, th this kind of long-term projects, which um, where you where we also um, gather basically new ideas and innovation for our um, products. And uh, who's in the company? Uh, how big is the company? Or? So the company has basically um, 12 employees. So there are um, three in Germany and um, nine in uh, US. And then we have also some developer in India. Nice. And uh, everybody is uh, the best at doing IoT apps and s integration and everything. Everyone? No, no. Yeah, everybody no, is like an engineer? No, no, no. no, no? no. So um, uh, we have basically um, uh, three engineers uh, in, in uh, US, where Silicon Valley based, so they are kind of um, really ahead on the market, and they bring um, a lot of innovation in our artificial intelligence customization, and um, the rest is like marketing, business development, and also for sure our um, CEO, uh, which is doing a lot of um, um, business development as well. Cool.